So how did Edgewater get from this to this? Hey, this is Sepp Niakon from Black Book Properties and CondoBlackBook.com here to help you search Miami like an insider. Today we're going to be talking about how Edgewater has become one of Miami's luxury hotspots. Edgewater really started grabbing everyone's attention after the $4 million renovation in 2004 of the beautiful Margaret Pace Park, which has since then become the heart of Edgewater. Another attractive aspect of Edgewater is that it's central to everything. It's right in the middle of all of the neighborhoods everyone wants to be in. It's right in between Design District, Midtown, Wynwood, Downtown, Brickell, and the Miami beaches. You can pretty much get to any of those places within five to 10 minutes. It's an unbelievable location. And better yet, it's got a lot of waterfront options. So when the developers realize that there's a lot of waterfront options and a lot of desire, for beautiful water views, waterfront, and close to everything, that's when Edgewater boomed in the luxury market. Today, we're gonna to give you a glimpse of five luxury condos to give you an idea of what it means to be an Edgewater luxury. Right now, I'm on the balcony of Paramount Bay, Edgewater's first luxury condo built in 2010 that started the luxury trend here in Edgewater. As you can see, it's got beautiful water views and gives you a real glimpse of what it means to live in Edgewater. Designed by Architectonica, units range from the 500,000s for 1,100 square foot units all the way up to 5 million or so for 4,000 square foot units. The building has all the luxury amenities you can imagine, with the sunrise and sunset pool being the main highlights. Biscayne Beach is another great luxury addition to Edgewater. Built in 2016 and architected by BC Architects, units here range from 440,000 up to 7.7 .7 million for penthouses. Another great addition by Architectonica was the Paraiso District, which is four towers, with one Paraiso being the most luxurious tower of all, starting around the 500,000s for 950 square feet and going up to 5 million or so for the penthouses. Edgewater continues its luxury waterfront spree with two new projects, Elise and Missoni Bahia. Elise, another project by Architectonica, uh, is actually my partner's favorite project because it has the largest units in, in Edgewater, and is a very sort of boutique building, long, tall, and thin. And that brings us to the fifth luxury project in Edgewater, which is Missoni Bahia. What I love about Missoni Bahia is actually it's always been one of my favorite fashion brands. Did I say fashion brand? Yes, that's right. It's the latest trend in Miami condos where fashion designers are actually branding condo buildings. Missoni Bahia is a great example of that. Units at Missoni start at 800 square feet or so and $500,000 and up. So there you have it. Edgewater, Miami is one of Miami's hot luxury destinations. If you're looking for waterfront options, family-friendly living, and accessibility to everything, this is a beautiful place to be. And remember, if you want to be a Miami insider, make sure to follow us, subscribe, like, comment, also, you can go to condoblackbook.com forward slash blog and follow us there as well. Have a great day.